I was a big Modi bhakt. I, mm-hmm. I really believed that he. Why could... did you? Why did you uh, admire him in the way that you did? And what changed for you? I uh, wrote against him when, when the Gujarat riots happened, but I felt that he had been treated unfairly because what happened in Gujarat had happened a thousand times over in secular times by secular parties. When you liked Sonia. in the days that you were their friend what did you like about her she was very generous and very warm and if she gave you her friendship she really gave it you know i mean she was very very generous with artish she sent your son clothes oh yeah she would bring them from italy and she dropped me because i did a profile of her in india today and i've written that story very often where arun puri said to me He said, "I don't mean being. I don't mind being considered a chumcha of Rajiv Gandhi, but I'm not going to be considered a chumcha of, of uh, Sonia." When people uh, say, and they often say, "Tavleen, you're obsessed with Sonia," you know, you you've heard that. You know, you just there's something personal there. There's something visceral there. You're obsessed with her, and I think you at one point uh, said that she has been, in a way, in the UPA years, a de facto prime minister. She was. She was. There's no question about that. There was no question at all about that. Um, the I mean, you know, now they say that I'm obsessed with Narendra Modi. I'll come to the state of journalism in a bit, but I want to talk a little bit about what's happened with Atish Dasir, your son. Uh, but before we come to the fact that he can no longer come to India and visit you, at least at the moment, let's talk about that time that that you brought him up as a single mother. Sonia Gandhi used to send clothes for Atish. Yes. That Vasundhara Rajay, who was then a very close friend of yours, used to help you financially. Your mother used to help you financially. I'm ready on this program to say that may they be cursed for what they did. How many times did you meet Pender Valley? I can't remember many times many times did you ever think he would kill you why would you not be more empathetic about women who are speaking about sexual harassment so if a woman who is over the age of 18 willingly goes to a man's bedroom she knows what she's doing and i think that you know you've got to be more balanced about that